Welcome back to Infraspace. Wait, that's a different game. I was thought I was playing Timber Borders for a second. Hang on, hang on. Yes, hello, fellow engineers, and welcome back to Infraspace. This is my insane colony. It's actually it's going okay. Last time we we had a few problems, but I think things are coming back together. Top right, you can see we do have not enough workers. Hence, over here, we've, we've got some red warnings. These guys, they need some electronics. The electronics factories, which are these green ones, they need copper and iron ore, which are actually being delivered, as it says there, which makes this woman very pleased. And basically, this game is all about trying to manage your resources, make sure your population is ever expanding, make sure your truck nados are full of the G wagon, G wagon, G wagon, G wagon. You and everything else that might make a thriving economy such as propaganda, efficient spaceport layouts, crazy roads, crazy junctions, and crazy train lines. Because we built this last time, which <laughs> which is like a vertical train line. I'm not I, I don't know why I do these things sometimes. And also over here we had we had this absolute mess, which I quite like that I managed to break the game a bit. Uh, trains can still run down that line though, so all in all, I think we're we're on the right path to successfulness. And evidence of that is our city has just leveled up to level six, which I think is the max level. So if you've been following this series, you will know I do have a slight problem in that every so often traffic becomes a huge issue and then it just clogs up everything, causing all my buildings to downgrade and stuff. So I was sort of thinking today, rather than as we have it now, which is sort of basically everything needs to end up here. These are all of our residential areas. This is where every resource needs to end up once it's been manufactured now we've got areas over here that make various different things like this is a computer factory we've got microchip factories over here obviously this is where the food is stored so we've got meat labs we've got meal factories and at the moment if i were to zoom out basically everything that gets made in its different areas of the map they all sort of only have one way into the city so what i was thinking perhaps i could sort of do like a massive circulatory ring road like a motorway that goes around the entire map and then if i were to do loads of junctions into my city perhaps that would cause my traffic not to be as clogged so yeah essentially i'm trying to make choices for traffic so they don't just all come in on the one road they can go wherever they want so i guess first off i want to look at where the most resources are made and i think it's this area here so what i'm thinking <laughs> it's gonna be so messy i mean <laughs> I've already got truck nados down there going mental. But yeah, what I'm thinking, if I sort of split all of this up into different sort of areas, I can put things on different roads and off of different roads. Yeah, this is going to get complicated, I think. So let's get building and then we'll see what happens. So down here, we'll do the super fast highways, I think. And we will just do super highway. I've got quite a lot of concrete, 30,000. I don't have a lot of steel, only 4,900. These cost 64 each. But uh, we'll see how we get on. Let's turn the grid off as well. I, I don't work on a grid. So I feel like a good place to start is after this junction. Can we just come off like there? If we can head up that Oh my goodness, look. <laughs> I've created the strongest shaped motorway. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> okay, that is going to be very, very efficient. I, I can, I'm feeling positive about this now. Okay, so basically I just want to head like, I guess around my city with enough room that I can do junctions to come off everywhere. We come over here and I think I want to curve along here. Bring this road through that gap like that over all that carbon production into the abyss that is the truck nado and then connect back into there and then we've sort of made a ring road around the entire city so it's just a case of doing slip roads off to everywhere so we'll do a slip road off here onto that road we'll also do one from that road onto our new ring road We're gonna want a slip road off here to go down quite steeply and ideally connect into that oh and look we've just completed part of our spaceship so if we click this button over here the spaceship this is what's orbiting the planet that we're currently on and basically as we fix more parts of it we get like 
bonuses. So we fixed the bridge. That gave us a permanent 5% immigration boost. We just finished a computer deck. And that gave us a 20% boost to a random technology. You know what? I think I might go for the hole this time. Because if we do that, you can see all of that will be repaired. So at the moment, that's looking pretty messed up. So if we say repair that, we should get a permanent 5% immigration boost as well. And if we go back to our planet, we'll just forget about this highway for a second because over here at the tip of our spaceports, we have this. And this is the spaceship construction facility. And basically we got to deliver the things that we need. So this time it's concrete and steel and that'll create spaceship modules. And then back in space, you can see these are the spaceship modules. We need 200 of them until that's repaired. So we've got 20 steel being delivered. That's good we don't have any concrete being delivered so i'm gonna follow this road back so round the test cool over this way All right so basically down here is where concrete is being created in these concrete factories they are being stored in the storehouse now i have a feeling if i were to just build a storehouse over here perhaps literally shove it there you can see the robo forklifts inside doing their magic i think Hopefully, will they deliver concrete? I'm, I'm not sure, actually. I thought they would, but apparently not. What if I delete a storehouse or two? And concrete trucks coming out here. Just go the other direction. No, stop going this way. <laughs> right, fine. Well, the other way I can do this, I can literally just build, like, some concrete farms. We just do a cheeky road down there, down to there. And then, basically, we just need a sulfur mine. So that will go that side. A sand mine. That can go the other side. And then a concrete factory or two. And then we just pile them up and then that's all the ingredients we need to create concrete so if we just keep an eye on these yep concrete trucks will come out and they will head this direction they should head along here and go yes into the construction facility wait where are you going where are you going <laughs> That one's going the wrong way. But that means our spaceship construction facility is finally getting the resources it needs. Which means, oh, out popped a spaceship. And that will take the resources up to our spaceship. Meaning the hole will finally get completed. And we'll get that all sorted. Right, next up. Back to connecting our super highway up. We've got loads of traffic coming off here. So we'll come off there. Go into that. And then pretty much wherever I can, I'm going to try and link up. There's really, there's really not a lot of space down here. <laughs> I've really packed these buildings in. I also want to try and connect off these. So can I go from there, like down to one of those? Yeah, that's good. That means you got to route down into some buildings that we didn't have before. I mean, perhaps, can we squeeze through this down to there? Yeah, that's good. That's another junction in. And in this mess of... <laughs> Just unlimited pillars of the truck needle. I'm just going to try and connect everything up fairly sensibly. Including connecting to train stations like down there. And basically after a lot of jiggery pokery I think we've sort of done it. Alright, so that's pretty good then. I feel like we do need to do another one in the opposite direction. Because at the moment, if we look underneath our road, so our road is going in that direction. There's, there's traffic using it now, which is good. But underneath, there's a lot of movement going the opposite way. So if we were to, say, start over here somewhere, you can head along this way, threading the needle. And this road, I might actually take up this way, just because I feel like this is where some traffic needs to be collected. Head along here, around here, and then we've just got to do some opposite connections so i want to do a road from here down into there oh no we may have we may have put a step in our road <laughs> Not ideal. Another one up there. And then basically on this road, I've got loads of paths into these different main roads. So if I just connect up everything that's going to it, which is mainly the carbon. And what I want to see is some black trucks. Yes, like this one going up there onto this new main road and along that way. And they, they should turn off. Yes. So basically these roads underneath, which are pretty busy with traffic, we're, we're slowing those down. We're making them, making them a lot less busy. So I'll try and do the same for this one. I'll go from there and I'll head this direction. It's very, it is very organized chaos. I will say that. All right, there we go. You just about got that out there. <laughs> oh, it looks like a mess. I promise you it's efficient. Look, there are our trucks using it. I probably want to do the same from like that junction if I can. All right, there we go. That's got loads of traffic coming up it. That is good. That is just what we want. We'll do another one from down here. Thread the needle up to there. Yeah, I think basically just all these, all these slip roads, I want them to be on and off. So as long as people have the option, they can go any way they want. And hopefully it'll just take the traffic off these local roads because these are way faster they can cope with 
lots of traffic. We do a bit of that, do a bit of that. And then we're actually completely out of concrete and steel before I'm able to finish this. <laughs> I've spent 30,000 concrete. We're down to 200. Uh, but on the positive side, this is actually looking really good for traffic. Like, things are moving. There's hardly any actual delays anywhere. And the good news is, if you look at the bottom left, we're actually almost at the point where our population is reaching the number of jobs we have, which means finally we'll be able to expand in terms of resources and stuff because we've got enough housing. We've got 7,480 houses. That's because all of these buildings, they're upgraded to the max level, the luxury residential high rise. I mean, look how luxury this guy is. He's got a tash. He's got a little eyepiece. The modern day eyepiece. That's how you know you're posh. Yeah, once we have enough population to fulfill our jobs, then hopefully these warning signals will disappear. <gasps> oh my goodness, look what we've just unlocked as well. The lightning rail. Hooray! Uh, which means we need to research something else while we're here. So lightning rails is done. We can either go for a fast neutron reactor, which I guess will give us power. But I seem to remember to build that. I think we need iridium propellant. So I better do that first. Meanwhile, in this tab down here, if we go to rails, it's got three blue arrows on it. That means it's super fast. So perhaps I could upgrade some of these railways because these are only the single ones. They're just rail. If we were to upgrade them to lightning rail, imagine how quick this could be. <laughs> It could actually be useful again. Because uh, look at this wall of death. This is actually... I did this in the high-speed rail for some reason. <laughs> I love that all the trains, they've literally got no cargo on them. It's absolutely useless. But yeah, it is what it is. Right, I think I'm going to let this run for a bit. To try and save up some concrete and steel. Because uh, then I can finish my road network. And then I'm a bit more convinced that I'll be able to add to it. Whilst keeping everything from breaking down and destroying itself. Because traffic in the past... It's pretty much every episode my city goes back to level one because the traffic gets cocked not anymore not with this investment right so i left this running for pretty much eight hours i didn't mean to i actually forgot it was still going <laughs> Um, so yeah, the room the room is pretty warm that I'm in right now. Uh, but the good, the good news, the positives, look how much concrete and steel we have. Tens of thousands. And check out the warning signs. There's only there's only two little things down here. What do you guys want? You want hollow displays, which are currently being delivered. Ooh, ooh. Yes, that is a good truck, Nado. I like that one. I like that one a lot. Right, anyway, let's get back to building. Because we've got our mega highway here that we never finished because we didn't have enough resources. Now we'll take this over here, connect it up to that, add a load of slip roads oh god that's that's quite a steep hill <laughs> how do i end up doing this so badly this was my job i literally designed roads in real life why why am i doing this right, we'll come off here come around connect down into the train line so we've got a connection into the trains we need one off the trains as well i think we'll come off this line and we'll go from there underneath and connect in there lovely job <laughs> this does look like a mess but I think it makes sense. Basically, I'm just going to go around on every single slip road I had going onto my other motorway. We're going to make sure we've got the same connection that goes from the other one as well. All right, and then our mega highway is pretty much done. It goes all the way around the city, which is quite nice. I have noticed over here, there's a bit of traffic. It's all coming off this way, going up there. And then can you see these purple cars? They're all turning left onto there. So what I might do, I might do a little bypass road. If we come off this, we can literally come over the top, connect down into that. And then we should see people start using this road. Yep, there you go. So they're coming around there, avoiding all these slow roads. And they're going to our circular city, which to be honest, I really need to build another one of these. Yeah, but first, let's check out the spaceship. What are we... Oh, we've completely finished. Look how shiny that is. So that is the whole completed. What shall we work on next? All right, so these three, the FTL ones, I can see they all need methane, which I haven't really done too much of. So if we do the FTL engine, that is methane and radiation core. So let's shove that on to repair. Ah, oh, yes, over here, over here, because... <laughs> We got some very efficient, <laughs> some very big bald methane production going on. Uh, did I put these in pipes? We go into methane pipe. Yeah, look. So we got methane coming along here. Oh, that is a hell of a pipe network. It goes all the way to these, which is where the science happens. But if I just extend this, if I say come from that pipe, then we head over this direction, go up to here. Yeah, look, it's connected to that building. If you remember, that is where the methane needs to go. So yeah, methane went straight in. We just got to get some radiation cores, which are currently being delivered. I think radiation cores are made up over here. Yeah, in this very, very efficient layout. It uses uranium, which is mined here. And if you follow this road back... Oh, good. Oh, 
Did we mean to disconnect the road? I'm not sure if we meant to do that. Let's connect that back up. So yeah, all the uranium that's mined goes into the radiation core factory. There's also iridium alloy, which I think is just made back here somewhere. Yeah, these factories, they've got the little symbol of what they make. They've got a load stored in there. You can see that number there. They got 25. That one's got 30. That one's also got 30. So we're making more of them than we're using. So I'll tell you what, I might build another radiation core factory. Let's plonk one there. Plonk one there. Actually, let's double it. Let's double it. Why not? You now, the hollow displays, they're waiting on sand. So perhaps we can just shove another sand mine down. That's a pretty simple fix. We'll shove one there. And we'll just lower that road so it does connect. There we go. And then another one in there. And I think that's sorted. So we're making a lot more of that. And they'll come along this road down the huge corkscrew thing into the mess of our junction. And they should just come off this way. So yeah, this should be getting resources now. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's got 30 methanes, 24 radiators cores. The spaceship will be fixed in no time. Meanwhile, our research, look how we're getting on with this. We've got the iridium propellant unlocked. We are currently on the fast neuron reactor. I assume that's energy production, so that'll be interesting. I don't know what the iridium propellant does. I assume we're going to need them to do some adamantite mining, and I don't think the devs have actually added anything into that, so we're, we're almost, with everything you can see on screen, we've finally caught up with the devs in terms of unlocks, pretty much. Although computers chips. Why don't you get enough computer chips? Right, there's a load stored in here. So how can they not get over there? Oh, it's a blooming district thing. Oh, districts have ruined my game. Seriously. So all we got to do, we just got to paint this district so it goes a little bit bigger. And then if we turn the districts off and zoom in, look at all the electronics leaving. They are going to head down to these ones so they can continue creating computer chips. So yeah, look at the next unlock, the fast neuron reactor. That's going to need some uranium to fire. Now that's almost twice as efficient as a nuclear power plant. I'll make a thousand megawatts. So I'll probably want to do that to try and keep up with demand. So I should probably prepare a place that I want this to be located. So I'm just going to search around trying to find some uranium like there. Okay. So it will plonk a road down along this edge. Build some large uranium mines. To start with, we will need some solar panels just to fuel these. I'm then going to, I think I'm going to fill this sort of valley with the plants. So I'm going to need traffic to them. I don't really know how to do it efficiently. So if I keep my road in the air, then I can build underneath it. All right, so you can see we finally unlocked the fast neuron reactor. Let's get a load of these built. We've got 80,000 concrete to play with, so we could literally go mental. Yeah, and it looks like these, they need to be placed alongside a road. So let's build some road. So we've built some road. I'm not sure if that helps us, but... <laughs> Next up, we'll come into the power thing and we'll build some fast neuron reactors. Oh, yes. Look at these. Look at these. Okay, so they're all built. So now if we press play, yep, we should see all the uranium leaving the mines. And then they'll head off in this direction, head along this road into this... <laughs> Oh, I don't know. I don't know what comes over me sometimes. But we do have a constant stream of uranium coming out of there, which is good. And then after a few hundred hours of navigating my bridge, they should end up down here where we'll be making loads and loads of power. And yes, this is a bridge. That means it needs a bridge review. A true feat of engineering taking thousands of hover trucks a second. Its spaghetti-like aesthetic is true to the Italians who invented spaghetti. Users even get a small glimpse of the previous bridge I built in this game. And best of all, there is purpose to this bridge. It brings uranium to the neuron processor plant thing. What are they called again? Fast neuron reactors. Yes, Mr. Man. So overall, I give this bridge... Yes, it's a bridge. Probably just a 5.4 out of 10, maybe. It's, it's not really that good. It's <laughs> making me kind of hungry. Right, anyway, guys, we're going to leave the video there today. Next time, we should have lots and lots of power to fuel our city, which is destroying my frame rates more and more as time goes on. But for now, I'll say peace, love, and spaghetti bridges. Bye, guys.